Hi guys, thanks for stopping by the sixth episode recap of Hometown Chachacha. If you love to see recaps and info about your favorite celebrities, consider subscribing and turn on notification, because that's what this channel is all about. If you already have, thank you so much, you are one of the people I adore most. With the plot spoiler alert, let's get to the episode. After hearing from Dushik that nothing happened between them, Hei Jin distanced herself and leaves, saying she has an urgent matter to attend. Min Sun finds Hei Jin sitting in the dark in her wet cloths. After she settled up, she confessed to Min Sun about the kiss, and that Dushik probably remembers it as well. Hei Jin doesn't answer when Min Sun asks her if she has feelings for Dushik, but vows never to be involved with him again. Dushik can concentrate on the book he's reading, especially when it says about a first kiss. So he set Hei Jin's umbrella to dry and stare at it. The next morning, Dushik greets Hei Jin as usual when she walks into the cafe. But Hei Jin gets irritated by it and tells him that his concerns about her is annoying. Their talk gets interrupted by Chung Jae's and Juri's argument about Juri's poor grades. Dushik sides with Juri about finding her dreams is more important than grades, while Chung Jae and Hei Jin argues otherwise. She continues to be cold to Dushik and even asks Chung Jae to take her order. As Dushik walks out, he tells to himself that she must have remembered it all. Back in the cafe, Juri begs Chung Jae to let her get braces for her snaggletooth, and in return, she will study harder. Chung Jae straight away rejects it by saying that the snaggletooth is what beautify her. So Juri turns to Hei Jin hoping for some professional opinion. To her disappointment, Hei Jin agrees with Chung Jae. Ha Jung stops by the clinic as advised, and Hei Jin concludes her issue isn't severe. Ha Jung tells her that she is so much relieved that she rented out the place for a dental clinic, and marvel the thought of how everything started with Du Shik lending out her bathroom slippers. But Hei Jin doesn't give it much interest. On her way out, Ha Jung notes a plant that is about to bloom. Hei Jin admits that she doesn't know the name of the plant. Just then, Du Shik comes for a walk-in appointment and tells to them that it is a fortune plant. She tries to make things professional, but gets distracted on seeing his lips. But somehow she manages to examine his teeth. Dushik brings about her being cold to him and asks if that is because of the kiss they had. Dushik explains that it was a drunken mistake and they must be able to move past things like this if they're to be friends. As Hei Jin sits there silently, Min Sun walks in asking if her assistance is needed. Hei Jin orders scaling for Dushik and walks off. Over lunch, Min Sun asks about her encounter with Dushik. Hei Jin flatly admits that he just wants to be friends with her. Just then, Min Sun received a text on the group chat of Dushik walking around Ganjin with a pretty woman. Hei Jin gets upset on seeing it and bitterly laugh off. We then see all of neighborhood tracking Du Shik and the woman, and updating on the group chat. In his office, Yun Guk stares at a photo of him, Ha Young and Ju He, with the three of them wearing matching bracelets, and remembers Ju He still wearing it. He gets startled on seeing his colleague standing there with a document that needs his signature. As the colleague leaves, he asks him what his thought are about a person still keeps a gift that was given 15 years ago, expecting a romantic interpretation which he doesn't get. As Dushik walk past Gari's house, he hears her fighting with someone. When Dushik gets there, he sees it's Song Hun whom Gari has thought of as a thief. Dushik calms the situation, and Gari admits that she got frightened when she saw him staring at her house. But because she has beaten him up, she offers Song Hun a meal. Song Hun too apologizes to her, since he couldn't help but stare at her house, because it is so pretty, and looks exactly like the one he had in mind for his next show. When Song Hun tries to introduce himself, Dushik intervenes and tells to Gari that Song Hun is a YouTuber, but not very famous. That evening, Du Shik gives Song Hun directions on how to get to his guest house. But again, Song Hun takes the wrong turn and Du Shik forces himself to leave, instead of correcting him. Du Shik finds Chung Jae freaking out on realizing Juri has ran off, with the cafe is safe. Du Shik is sure enough that Juri is still in Ganjin, and help him look for her. When Hei Jin gets home, she finds Juri waiting for her. On seeing the safe, Hei Jin assumes that Juri is running away. They get a visit from Du Shik. On noting Hei Jin stammering in Juri's shoes, Du Shik barge into the house and tries to drag Juri home. Hei Jin intervenes and tells him that Juri is a guest on Maikin. Furiously, she makes a call to Chung Jae and informs him that Juri will be spending the night with her. So Du Shik apologizes for the intrusion and leaves. That night, Hei Jin gets a series of worried texts from Chung Jae on how to care for Juri. He even informs her how to get Juri to sleep if she finds it difficult. Just then, Juri walks out of the room complaining she can't sleep. The two gets into a talk, and they jokes on how difficult it is to grow with a single parent. When Juri asks her why she let her spend the night, Hei Jin admits that she too ran away from home when she was young. She tells Juri when she was in high school, she skipped school and took a bus to the beach because her father got himself a girlfriend. Juri retorted her for being close-minded because she'll fully support if her father found himself a girlfriend because she doesn't want him to suffer over a dead person. Juri then shifts the talk of getting braces and confess that she ran away because Chung Jae wouldn't allow it. She tries to get a discount from Hei Jin, but she shoes her off to the bed. 
Du Shik finds Cheng Jie drinking alone in his cafe. When Cheng Jie worries over Juri, Du Shik wonders how lucky it is to have parents. Cheng Jie then emotionally asks Du Shik to date someone, to lessen his baggage. On seeing Hei Jin's umbrella, Du Shik thinks about the time he had with her in the rain, and quickly shoves it off. He takes off a book from the bookshelf and looks at a photo tugged in the book, as he tears up. The next day, Hei Jin takes Juri to the cafe, and makes her apologize. Once she's gone, Hei Jin tries to explain to Cheng Jie that Yuri is not a kid, and to consider what she wants as well. On seeing Du Shik and a woman again, Hei Jin goes to Yunkung's supermarket, and buys out all the sausage snacks. Later that day, everyone gather up for the neighbor's meeting. Yunguk informs the gathering about the upcoming annual festival. When he mentioned the cash prizes, that has been organized, everyone becomes interested in the event. Nam Suk and others brings out about things, being over between Du Shik and Hei Jin. Hei Jin angrily tells to them, that there was nothing to begin with, and warns them not to gossip about her. As she walks out, Du Shik follows after her, trying to calm her down. But Hei Jin let out her anger on Du Shik as well, and tells him, that she don't, be friends with just anyone. Hurt by it, Du Shik walks off after returning her umbrella. In the following days, everyone is busy with the festival. Mi Sen drags Hei Jin along to watch the festival with her, hoping that she could hang out with Yun Chul. Du Shik and Hei Jin ignore each other when they're into each other. During the festival, Du Shik notes Juri limping. So he goes to Hei Jin to get her help. Hei Jin notes that Juri's ankle is in bad shape, and insists her to go to the hospital. But Juri refused, because she's determined to win the prize, and use it to get braces. Juri limps onto the stage. She freezes on seeing the crowd after singing a few lines. Just then, Hei Jin walks onto the stage to help her out with her performance, and so does Du Shik. After the performance, the three are thrilled to see the crowd's reaction. But their excitement fades away when Bora moves the crowd with her song. Juri and team ends up getting the second place, and Bora winning the first. Hei Jin grabs the prize to herself as Juri and Du Shik looks at her in horror. But she surprised them by saying, that she'll consider the prize as the first installment for Juri's braces, and to pay up the rest when she grow up. After getting off from the stage, Juri is focused on her phone to see her boy band performing live, unaware that they are right in front of her. On seeing them, Juri cries out in excitement. After the event, Hei Jin sits along trying to contact Min Sun. Du Shik walks to her and starts to tease, that her actions doesn't match with her words. He tells her to stop drawing imaginary boundaries and enjoy things as much as she wants. As the boy group leaves, Juri limps after them trying to talk with Jun. So Chung Jae piggyback her and they scream out for Jun. Ju notices her snaggletooth, and remembers that Juri is the one who called him a fake at the cafe. He decides to let it slide because she's cute. As Chung Jae attend to Juri's injury, he tells her that he will permit her to get the braces. But this time Juri doesn't want to do it, because Ju noticed her because of the snaggletooth. Hei Jin watched them as the two help them out to get home. She remembers her running away to the beach. When she gets back, she finds her father waiting by the bus stop worriedly. Instead of scolding her, he gives her his jacket and walks her home. So Hei Jin give her father a call. He's excited to hear the plant he gave her is blooming and tells her, the blooming means that great luck is on its way. Just then she spots Du Shik walking towards her. She hurriedly turn away and hangs up the call. She tries to walk the opposite direction to his, but Du Shik follows after her. He tells her that he was starting to dislike her, but what she did for Juri was cool, and gives her a head pat. Hei Jin notice a firework display. As Hei Jin enjoys the display, Du Shik stare at her. Someone knocks on Du Shik and he almost fall into the water, but gets saved by Song Hun. Both Hei Jin and Song Hun are thrilled to see each other, as they hold Du Shik from falling. We then see Song Hun spotting Hei Jin as he walks to his guest house, even though Du Shik thinks he made the wrong turn. He has then watched Hei Jin performing on stage. With that the episode ends. In the epilogue, we see Hei Jin and her runaway trip buying a packet of milk in a convenience store, but she is short of money. When she's about to return it, a boy lends her the money and walks out before she could say anything. We see the two sitting on the beach not noticing the other, and the name tag of the boy is Hong Du Shik. So that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching. Please consider to like, comment, subscribe and share this video, since it'll help my channel so much. I hope to see you again in another video.